If you know me, you know how I feel about Mr. Kuma. And guess who's here? <laughs> Milton Cunha, man. I couldn't ask for a better New Year's. I have no idea that Milton Cunha will be the host. Isa! <laughs> Hi, I'm Gabi. And I'm KD. I'm from Brazil. And I'm from the U.S. And today, we're going to be going over some of Rio's hidden gems that you may not know about. Yes. And one of the first that we're going to go is... Is this place right here we are in Largo do Boticário in the neighborhood named Cosme Velho so the first tip for you that you are coming to Rio take the train to Christ the Redeemer very early and after that you came here to have a breakfast this it was a very historical place that it was abandoned for a long long time and one hotel bought the place and transformed in a hotel slash hostel but they also offer a breakfast a buffet breakfast even that you are not in the hotel so it costs less than 50 reais so less than 10 dollars and it's amazing and we will show you a little bit so this is the first place that you can visit nice So we had the breakfast and it was mwah, great. Nice. Yeah, it was real good. Mm -hmm. Many mm -hmm. options, eggs, cakes, breads, mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, for the price, it's real, real good. Yeah, it's, it's worth it. If you want, they have the options of, so you pay uh, a price and you can use the hotel, the pool. They have a pool, as you can see here, and have a breakfast, spend the day here and go in the end of the day. So, and also you can use the bedroom to change, take a shower if you want. So, it's a very nice, interesting thing to do if you stay in Rio for a long time. Yep. Like that. Okay, and yeah, 
it's really cheap. And beers, they sell beers and also foods. So it's a really great, different experience in Rio de Janeiro. I already had two caipirinhas, so as you can see. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you know what people say when, when you drink? You are fluent in any language that you want. So I'm fluent in English right now. She thinks. Right, that's what I think. <laughs> it's not working. It's working well. No, oh, okay. So that was the second hiding gym for you, okay? Hidden gym. Hidden gym. That was the second. She's so fluent in English, right? <laughs> you. So fluent in English. That was the second hidden gym for you guys. Stay tuned. We are here in Leme and we will visit uh, Favela da Babilonia with a tour guide and his name is Edgy. Mm. Yeah, so it's my first time going to the actual favela. I mm -hmm. said I would never go, but hey, you know. So it's a very nice way for you guys to break stereotypes uh, in the favela, about favelas in Rio de Janeiro. So have a tour with somebody that lives in a favela and he's also a tour guide that speaks English, so it's very nice. I will put his Instagram right here on the description of this video. Yep. almost the same thing uh-huh but so for example in, in slavery time mm -hmm. we consider like Quilombo as a resistance territory uh -huh. for keeping the black traditions everything mm -hmm. favela I consider like a, a version 2.0 about Quilombo mm -hmm. as a modern Quilombo because it concentrated our culture for example samba uh -huh. yeah. came from favelas right right so in here we have the, the two favelas not the one shop from the that one with the solar panel in the rooftop over there, yeah. that's is a hostel. Mm -hmm. And in that hostel, we have the solar energy NGO. Okay, I got you. So, the last hidden gym that we have for you guys is the Little Africa Tour. It's very nice. Surprise on that one, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So, in Brazil, in Rio, we have this neighborhood named Little Africa. It's located in Praça Mauai Square. It's very nice, it's quiet, but it's very historical. So, if you want to uh, learn more about the diaspora, black people in Brazil, about favelas and our society is i think is the best tour that you can book for you and we will do this tour today with luana that i know luana very well and she is amazing so we'll give you some shots do you remember how you cussed me out on airbnb about the first time we met i didn't curse you you were like oh this green go <laughs> i asked her hey I just want to make sure it's in the clock. Did you read? Did you read the fucking profile? It said 10 a.m., motherfucker. I'm trying to tell you. Ah, oh, fucking gringos. Ah, 10 a.m. I didn't say that, okay? I was a specific, hey, I don't know if you read, but it was on the description. It's 10 a.m. And I can wait 15 minutes if you were late. Listen to what she said. I don't know if you read, but 10 a.m.
you can't feitiçaria no which which no they have this Yeah, so an unplanned hidden gem because I know it's very popular here in Rio and a lot of people in Brazil know about it, but I didn't know about it until I came here and I talked to her, was mm -hmm. the New Year's Eve celebration on thing. Copacabana. Mm -hmm. They have fireworks on ships mm -hmm. in the middle of the ocean and it's amazing, apparently. I saw it on TV, I've never seen it in person. But I will see it today. Yes. And also they have some shows with famous Brazilian artists. So I'm very excited because I will watch Isa and I love her. And <laughs> and also a tip is that if you are coming to Rio during the New Year's, you have two options, okay? You stay in the sand, bring in a cooler, but pay attention, it will be crowd and can be crazy. We will get a kiosk uh, and the sidewalk in Copacabana that offers a type of private uh, spaces with free food, drinks, and also desserts from 8.30 p.m. to 3 a.m. So it's a very nice option for you. Copacabana, New Year's Eve, I'm Brazilian, I grew up in Rio, it's my first time to watch the fireworks and the shows, I'm very excited about that. What are you thinking so far? Look at this shit, that's what I'm thinking, <laughs> look at that. It's crazy. So here we have drinks, we have food, you have water, soda, desserts, everything. I think now we started with water. We about to catch it. It's like four minutes out. I'm about to die. I gave my will and testament to Gabby. Just pop it. Pigeon, it doesn't okay. matter. 